back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It's very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are witchy and Halloween oriented. I also do cat lady unboxings, craft with me videos, um, and chronic illness awareness videos as well. So shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, give this video a thumbs up just to say thanks for all the effort I put in to doing these for you guys. <laughs> I do these Halloween uh, check-ins for decor hunting every single week. Um, I will link the playlist down below, so definitely check that out if this is something you're interested in. So for today's video, I'm gonna go over everything I saw this past week Halloween decor hunting. I found some goodies. I also found a lot of places still don't have stuff out. So tis the process when it's you're, you're hunting for all the goods. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Hi, everyone. Good morning. It is July the 6th. And um, I'm actually getting ready to run some errands. So I thought um, the area I'm going to has a, it has a, there's a building that's got Michael's, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods, all in one building. So I thought I would go look at all four, see if we can find some Halloween stuff. I've heard that Michael's is putting out um, some of their like Halloween wreath stuff. So I thought I would at least look at that and maybe check again the other, see if there's any goodies. Also, can you see my little bat necklace? <laughs> this is a Killstar necklace. Um, and I just, oh, I love the little bat. It's so cute. Also, I'm not sure why I'm looking like extra pale today. Um, I'm, <laughs> maybe this foundation, I mean, I'm a pale person. Maybe this foundation is just slightly too light. Um, but I mean, it's totally a vampy vibe, especially with, you know, my bat and my freshly, like, freshened up blackish hair so you know it's a whole thing but all right anyway <laughs> let's get going all right friends so there was absolutely nothing at all four stores um i will show there's a little bit of black floral you can find at michael's but it's in their normal floral section so i'm imagining those are items you have year round um but it's something if you're looking specifically for black floral. Um, they do have all their summer floral, like 70% off, 75% off. You could take that and spray paint it and use that. If there's like, you know, if you're just looking for greenery, especially if you're like year round and you're wanting to do it black, you could totally just spray paint that and get it super cheap right now. So it is an option, but... Um, that's all we have for today. Um, I will check in with you next time I go out. I am getting ready to go out of town. Well, as when you're seeing this, I'm already back in town. But I'm getting ready to go out of town. So I don't know if I'm going to try filming while I'm out of town. Maybe just stopping in some places. But yeah, the next time I check out places, um, I will make sure and film it for you guys. All right. See ya. Good morning, everyone. It is me driving up this big hill. Late this hill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm, don't get hit. Good morning, friends. So it is another day. It is Tuesday, July 12th. I can't remember the last day um, I filmed. Um, I did, though, so I was out of town this past weekend. So, um,. I try not to do a whole lot of filming or going and doing stuff because I was trying to spend time with my family um, that I was visiting. But I did go to Old Time Pottery um, and I saw a few things um, new there at that location. So I will uh, go ahead and insert them right here. I thought I would do a little bit of a voiceover. Um, this was on July 10th at Old Time Pottery. So we had this cat on a little jack lantern. We've seen this before with the raven. This one was $9.99. That does light ups. There's the raven one we've seen. Black and white pumpkin with happy Halloween. This little ribbon, $12.99. You'll see Craig's feet. He's been helping me. He was super awesome on this video, helping me with all the prices and lifting up some of the heavier stuff. We have this Bride of Frankenstein little greeter. 
uh, $24.99. And then Frankenstein himself, I believe this one was also $24.99. Those are kind of different. I mean, it's a little cutesy, but it's cute. It is different. We have our Jack Skellington, $24.99. And then we also have the child, Baby Yoda, Grogu, however you want to call him. <laughs> This one was a little bit more, yeah, this one was $29.99. I'm sure it's just because of licensing. This massive skull that lit up. This was pretty cool. $19.99, not a bad price for how big this skull was. Very, very large. Raven uh, on these little skulls on a stack of books. $7.99, lots of skull stuff this year. So you could definitely do, um, oh, it does light up, by the way. Um, you could definitely do a skull, a skull theme. This was fun. Um, this looks like it's meant to go in the garden, but it's not like a solar light. I wish it was. That was $12.99. This really um, cute looking uh, happy Halloween sign with little black bats. Um, I like the cutout style on that one. That was $9.99. Spooky sign. Oh, this was fun. Okay, so here's some like larger signs. This one says the witch is in. $24.99 and I was looking at it I was like I think this lights up so we we found it and there was a little thing um a little button to push it lights up it's not super bright but I imagine in a darker room it would show up better uh trick or treat yourself <laughs> $14.99 makes me think of park and parks and recs treat yourself I'm here for the booze this is a fun little sign $7.99 for that Hey Pumpkin. This makes me think of the Big Lots, um, their whole line last year with the pumpkins. That's $14.99 right there. Another trick-or-treat sign with some little ghosts. Um, this one was $9.99. So you have lots of ghosts and skeletons to go to work with as far as a the theme this year. This is a hanging sign with um it spelled out boo. There was a basum, witch hat. $24.99 was a little expensive to me on that one for the size, um, but this was a massive welcome sign with a, a sugar skull there, $19.99. I feel like that's actually a pretty good price for how big that was. Then you had these like ceramic pumpkins. These things were super heavy. I had to have Craig lift them for me. $24.99 on those. Um, and I mean, you can't hear, but he like knocks them in because they're pretty hard heavy do duty. Um, there's an opening in the back on all those. So it looks like you could put, uh, you know, some lights or, you know, a candle. The darker orange was interesting because the lines of it made it look more melony, <laughs> like a melon, but you know, um, there's this metal tin that said, happy Halloween. The light on it wasn't super bright as well. I wish it was a bit brighter or it was just a space you could put a candle, uh, $19.99 on that. Here's more of these ceramic pumpkins. We have just a regular kind of jack o' lantern with the, you know, the teeth, <laughs> $24.99. And then we had this one I really liked. I wish this one was the lighter orange um, pumpkin with the witch hat opening. Again, these were $24.99 as well. I really liked it. I just wish it was the lighter orange. They had a lot of lights at this store as well. So we had the spider web, um, $12.99 on that. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, this skull fence lighting, $19.99 for those. And then there was a bunch of mini lights. I think all of these strands were like 10 feet long. I can't remember how many specific, oh, it says 50 lights on there. Those were $4.99 for all the different varieties. You had orange, you had some multicolor. I think you had some just straight up purple as well. I feel like you could get a better price elsewhere though. These little LED lights on the strings, those are battery operated. We've seen those in other other trips before. Um, they had these like Edison lights. It's very interesting. I wouldn't really consider them Halloween style though, but it's a fun design. 1999. It makes me think of something you find at Ikea actually. This solar stake was really, really pretty. Um, this witch with the moon silhouette, $12 for that. I wish we could have seen how bright it was. I really kind of wanted it, but I wasn't sure how bright it actually would be. So I wasn't sure if it was going to be worth it, honestly. You know, these little yard stakes, cat, jack lantern, candy corn, and a ghost. I believe all of these were $2.99. Yep. So those are fun, especially if you have kids. It would be a cute way to design and be. Might be able to find those at Dollar Tree a bit cheaper, honestly. They had these um, magnetic mailbox covers 
And then we also see a whole bunch of different flags. Some of these were the really, really large ones. And it, those were um, $9.99 for the larger ones. And then they had some of the, uh, the shorter ones as well. Or the, not the shorter, just the smaller size for like um, just a regular small garden flag. I'm trying to remember specifically how much the smaller ones were. I really love this one. That was oh yeah, five ninety nine. The little witch silhouette, the pumpkins. We have more jack lanterns, a black cat. I also kind of like that one too. I was debating which one to get. Um, you'll you'll see here in a minute. <laughs> um, oh sorry, I had to clean off the camera lens. <laughs> um, we had this skull with little raven on it. That was $12.99. That seemed a little expensive to me for that. I mean, I know there's a lot of detail in it, but yeah, Craig wasn't pleased by that price either. <laughs> oh, look, and there was the flag that we got. <laughs> and okay, so for today, what the plan is, I have to actually, I'm running to the post office. I got to pick up some packages and mail that I had held while I was gone. Um, and I am going to hopefully hit several places. Um, Bath and Body Works, because I'm really hoping they finally have some of their Halloween stuff out now. Um, I'm also going to be hitting Home Goods, TJ Maxx, maybe at home, and then pretend, depending on what I find at the one Bath and Body Works, I might be hitting a second one. And if I hit that second one, then I might also just go ahead and hit a second Home Goods and TJ Maxx because they're all kind of in little bunches so where there's one there's another group of ones so um we'll just see also it's like I don't know if you can kind of tell it's a rainy dreary day muggy it's all get out that's why I'm not wearing makeup today because I just oh I knew I was just gonna sweat it off and if it was raining I was just gonna get all gross and nasty um so hair is up in a, a freaking messy bun and I'm just no makeup today, so excuse all the the natural, lovely discoloration I got going on. But um, it is what it is. That's what I had the energy to do, knowing all the stuff we're gonna be seeing. So um, yeah. All right. Well, I will see you at the first place we go. I'm not sure where that's gonna be yet, but you'll you'll find out. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, guys. So I went into. Um, Bath and Body Works, and they didn't have much. I asked her, I was like, oh, do you have any Halloween? She's like, we can't put it out yet. And I'm like, do you even have, like, pocket back holders or anything? She's like, no, but we have some, like, the sanitizers. So, um, she's probably just getting a lot of people asking. Or maybe she just doesn't like people like me, so who knows? Um, let me show you. Alright, so the ones that I got are Vampire Blood. It's the same since they kind of have most years. Ghoul friend, Wicked Apple. This one actually smells pretty good. I am really not a big apple scent kind of person, but it actually smells pretty good. It almost makes me feel like caramel apple. So because it's got that like sweet undertone, it's not just like tart apples. It's actually pretty good. So if you're not an apple scent kind of person, maybe give it a try. Like try it in store. They have like, you know, the try me's. I did that and I actually, I'm not too, uh, I, I will use this for sure. Which makes me want to like look for the candle or the soap because normally I pass on the apple scents because I don't really love apple. So, um, oh, also went to the post office, picked up some packages, um, and I have two things I'm going to be doing unboxing for. Um, one is my Witch's Roots for July, and uh, so that should hopefully be posted within the next week or so. I, I don't know if I'm going to be posting it before this video or after this video, but just keep an eye out for it. I'll also be doing an unboxing for a Love, Pain, and Stitches bag. It's going to be my first one ever. I've wanted one of these bags for like years. Um, so I'm super excited to have got my hands on one. It's not one of the handmade ones. It's one of the pumpkin cult uh, ones, but I'm still super excited. It'll be the perfect bag for Halloween decor hunting and just year round. <laughs> so um, I will be unboxing both of those. Keep an eye out for those videos. What I'm going to do now is go to, um, there's a Home Goods and a Marshall, not Marshalls, Home Goods and TJ Maxx 
um, just like right around the corner. So I'm gonna go look in there, see if there's any Halloween. Fingers crossed, I don't know if they'll have anything yet. Um, but I figure it doesn't hurt to look and then we'll just see where I feel like going from there. So, yep, yeah, see you. <laughs> All right, well, those places were a bit of a bust. Um, TJ Maxx had absolutely nothing. Home Goods had like a couple things, but they weren't actually Halloween. They're more like kind of like a witchy line, I suppose. Um, one cup was like this white cup with like black detail that was like palms, like a palmistry kind of thing. And the other set was this, these black cups with white detailing. One was like a sun and moons, I think. And another was again, another palmistry. And that was absolutely it. So that's more like an astrology kind of line rather than actually Halloween. So that's sad. I'm going to go to at home now and we'll see what time I get done. It's supposed to start raining here in the next like hour or two. And I don't really want to be out if it's like actually storming. Um, but also I would love to find some stuff today or at least, you know, find some good stuff to show you guys. Um, so I'm going to go to at home and see if we find anything. <laughs> Okay, time for another voiceover. <laughs> all right, so at home started having all these like skeleton, kind of like their boneyard type stuff, bags of skulls. Honestly, a lot of this kind of stuff, I would really wait and check out Dollar Tree because they have the little bags of skulls there for a dollar and I've used them for craft projects before. They're just as good as these. So maybe wait, especially if you're wanting to do something, we're going to have to tear them up. Um, here's all of our outdoor mats again. A lot of the ones we've seen before. Um, the first things of little black floral right there. This right here, um, I was trying to get the camera to actually focus on it. But it was almost like, you know, Beauty and the Beast, Rose in a Cloche kind of thing. $19.99, it has a skeleton hand on it. Very different. We don't see stuff like that super often. More of the candles. This was interesting. This little, like mirror I could see being on a vanity the spooky eyes skulls a lot of really pretty detailings on this with the bronze work um $24.99 I think if you're doing like a, a spooky vanity that would be a really beautiful feature all of the all of the glittery trees still there <laughs> um starting to put some of the outdoor decorations they had these hanging ghosts one with a witch hat others just regular style they were literally putting stuff out as i was going through this so i was trying to stay out of the way they had um these lights they have these kind of every year nightmare for christmas one 14.99 right there um jack skellington they had a little pumpkin with witch hat or jack lantern with a witch hat that's also a spider, <laughs> oogie boogie, um, quite a few different ones of that. We hadn't seen this yet. It was this cat bowl, and it was almost like its tail was the handle. Um, $16.99. I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of odd to me, but it's whatever. <laughs> More candles, the vintagey trees we've seen. Um, they had some gravestones. A six pot for $19.99 kind of expensive honestly um the gnome blow up 1999 right there some i think this was a table runner they had some of the mugs this is the first spooky pillow i've seen so far um it says spooky with a little ghost i believe this was it was either like 16.99 or so not a bad price if you like the design on it um, our, our mug stacks, they didn't have, um, any more, um, of the, like, the skeleton ones, but, sorry, pardon my hand, I, I was so, just looking at everything, we have these bigger skulls with, like, butterflies on them, $9.99, not a bad price for that big one, um, I really like that, actually, it's like a dark garden kind of look to me. <laughs> Hmm, they had all of these hats, the witch, witch feet, um, a lot of stuff again we've seen before. Boo. 
more pumpkins. Definitely putting out more of these. This is the first time I've seen this jack-o'-lantern cookie jar. I think that was really, really kind of cute. I love stuff like that. $19.99. I'm hoping I've seen little sneak peeks of the jack-o'-lantern mug and I really want it. So hopefully we'll see that at another trip. I had this pillow on the thing, but I ended up not even getting it. I just decided not to. Here's the gnomes. We've seen stuff just like this. They had these last year. They also have some like it at Old Time Pottery. Another bag of skulls, $9.99. Again, get these at Dollar Tree. So much cheaper, especially if you're just going to use them for crafts. They had a little bit larger ones, $4.99. I, I still think Dollar Tree's cheaper on this kind of thing. So that's what I would I would definitely go towards if you're looking for that. Um can't remember how much more we saw. I felt like I was still looking for stuff. And honestly, there wasn't a whole lot at this particular location. Um, it was new. It was kind of the same stuff we've always been seeing. So that was it. <laughs> so I will say while I was out in there, they were putting stuff out. And I was kind of like trying to stay out of the way. So I'm probably going to end up going back in a few days, which will be in the next video. Because I think this will be the last day for this video. Um, so hopefully the next video there will be even more stuff. Um, and it definitely seems like each location has a different amount out because this location versus the one across the river is definitely still less. So I'm going to the one across the river in a day or two. So that'll be in the next video. Um, but definitely, uh, you know, if you have several in your area, check both because every location seems to be different as far as what they have. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm actually gonna call Bath and Body Works in the mall and ask them if they have any Halloween stuff yet. If they don't, I'm not gonna bother going because parking at that mall is a whole insane thing I don't feel like dealing with if there's nothing there. <laughs> if they do, then I might also go to the Marshalls and Home Goods. Yeah, and we'll check out all three of those locations. If they don't, then I will just see you back at home. Um, there's one thing I got at Old Time Pottery the other day, so I'll show you that item, um, and I'll probably just wrap up the video. So, we'll see you where I see ya. <laughs> oh, okay guys, so we had success. I called Bath and Body Works, um, and she said that they didn't have them out yet, but they might be able to get them from back stock for me. So I um, bared them all. Um, parking here actually wasn't too bad, <laughs> but I went in and I asked the lady and she was like, oh yeah, we have all that, but we can't really put it out yet. And I was like, oh, I called and they said you might be able to like get it out for me. <laughs> um, and she was like, we're not really supposed to, but uh, I'll do it for you. And I was like, Halloween gods and goddesses, you're looking over me and I love it. Um, so the, no candle holders or anything like that yet or any even Halloween candles or anything like that, but they had some pocket back holders. Um, so when we get home, I'll show you those. I got the candy corn, the ghost cat, and then the one that's like a spider web with a little jack-o'-lantern. Um, so I'll show you all those because especially the ghost cat, it um, I think makes sounds because there's a little button on the back. So we'll go through those when I get back to the house. I'm so excited I found those. Um, so honestly, I feel like I like those more than the candle holders that are sneak peeked right now. Um, I don't know that I'm actually going to get any. We'll see how they look in person, but for the price that they are, I, I don't know that I want them. We'll see. But right now, I'm going to go, since I'm already here, go across the street and I'll go to Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx real quick, pop in all of those, see if they've added anything since last week. Um, and then I'm also going to go into the Michaels that's right there as well, see if they've added anything. Um, I don't typically find a lot of luck at that Michaels. It's usually one of the ones that's um, a bigger location further out from town. Um, but we'll see if this has any. Um, I'll check in with you guys afterwards and then we'll go home, do a short haul and wrap things up. So let's go. All four stores um, do not have anything. Um, even Michaels not there's still a good amount of fall floral but not a halloween even wreath thing in sight so um, i'm definitely gonna have to try and hit one of the other locations another day and see if they have more but i will um, meet you guys at home we'll do a quick haul and wrap things up because i am so tired i'm wore out and i need to take a nap <laughs> uh, chronic illness life yo <laughs> all right i'll see you guys at the house okay guys so we're back home um sorry if the lighting's a little off i 
don't have the energy to set up the tripod and the ring light and all of that right now. <laughs> I'm really wore out. So I thought I would just do a little bit more informal kind of thing. Hopefully the lighting's okay. But I mostly just wanted to show you the pocket back holders from Bath & Body Works. Okay, so the first one is this little candy corn holder. Look at it! And his mouth is kind of bat-like and the eyes are like moons. I think it's really cute. It's a nice simple um, one. I think it's really, really adorable. Okay, so here is the the ghost kitty. And being a cat mom, you know I had to get this. So let's see what it says. I don't know if there's more. Let's try them. Okay, so it's just the one sound. It's kind of sad because last year that pumpkin one had like four different sounds. So, but it's still super, super cute. So I'm not mad at it. I just wish there were more sounds. <laughs> and then the last one um, is this orange lanyard. It does look like it has um, reflective material. So like if you were going to get this for like kids or something, or if you're a parent or somebody going to go with people trick-or-treating, this would be a good one to wear out. Um, I honestly might wear it when I'm camping. I love the lanyards for like camping or hiking because I can just wear it around me and have it. So I would probably wear it for that. So it's orange lanyard with a little reflective strip on it. The actual holder is this really beautiful like spider web kind of I don't know, latticing is, you know, flexible material that's really, really pretty. And then it's got this little jack-o'-lantern that also hangs from it. And the jack-o'-lantern lights up. So again, I think that's pretty cool, especially like if we're wearing specifically for trick-or-treating or if you're out at nighttime and you need a little extra light. Um, I think this is a pretty cool one to wear. So um, those are those three. All the other stuff I got, again, were those pocket backs. Um, the flag I got from um, Old Time Pottery, I realize is already in the basement with all the stuff decorations and I don't feel like going down and getting it so um, you'll probably just see that whenever I do a decorate with me in the fall you'll see it then so um, that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for joining me I hope you really enjoyed it as always you know I'll be back next week for more to see what goodies we can find but yeah I hope everyone is doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video bye